let's keep multiplying. 3 minus i times 5 minus 4i. What am I going to do here? Let's FOIL. You're multiplying two binomials, so of course we're going to FOIL. When I FOIL, what's the product of the first terms? 15. How about outside? 12. Minus 12i inside. Minus 5i and the product of the last terms. Plus 4i squared. Now this is where I saw a lot of students having trouble. <coughs> i times i will give you the i squared. Just like x times x is x squared. Then you have to combine like terms, but what happens to this guy right here with the i squared? It becomes a negative 4. Convert things appropriately, combine like terms, and what do we have? Eleven minus seventeen i. Is that good? All right. Now we need to take a little pause in the action to remind you of this. <coughs> Just to remind you guys of this, these guys are. complex conjugates. <coughs> now what we talked about yesterday was regular conjugates would give you the difference of squares. Complex conjugates, however, give you this. They give you a squared plus b squared. Okay. If you had done the difference of squares here, you would have had a squared minus b squared i squared. But what happens to minus b squared i squared? It becomes the positive b squared. So what happens here is that when you multiply complex conjugates, you don't get a complex number. <coughs> you get something that's real. I, I guess I shouldn't say it's not a complex number, but you get something that doesn't have an imaginary part. All of the numbers that we talk about, all the real numbers, that is a subset of complex numbers. Like if I were to say there are 22 students in this class. Okay, 22 is a complex number. There's 22 real students. How many imaginary? Zero imaginary. So we don't write the zero I on these things. We just write 22, right? <coughs> Although maybe you're going to start, I'm going to start celebrating my, this is my 22 plus zero i birthday. This is just going to be the weirdo. Is that what I'm not going to talk about that. Yes, I'm going to celebrate my I celebrate my 22nd birthday just like that. <coughs> and I know what some of you are thinking, wait, you can remember your 22nd birthday? <laughs> <coughs> if I take 7 minus 5i times 7 plus 5i, these guys are complex conjugates. According to this formula, <coughs> if I take my a and b, now notice what a and b are. That's the real part and the imaginary part. Does it include the I? No. no. So that means when I work this, it should be 7 squared plus <coughs> 5 squared. What started out as a difference of squares becomes the sum, because in that original difference of squares, you would have had an I squared. If you're subtracting with an I squared, what would that become? The subtracting with the i squared, negative, negative, we'll turn that into positive. That's why I get to the <laughs> shortcut here. So this is 49 plus 25, and all of that is equal to 74. Do you all agree? Life is good. Let me give you this one. This one I actually had on a test. You think it would be easy, but, well, People always like to prove me wrong. 9 plus 10i times 9 minus 10i. According to the special product, mm -hmm. sh show me, tell me the steps. I don't want just an answer. I want to make sure we see the step here. 9 squared plus 10 squared. Nine squared, plus ten squared. And then you just work this out.
We get 181. 